Good morning, Corvette fans. <laughs> I'm sitting here today, and I'm not talking about Corvettes today. I'm actually talking about putting in a flagpole and how I made it super, super easy to be able to do it. Now, I mean, you might think a flagpole, ah, it's got, what's the big deal with a flagpole? Well, here's the deal. I was trying to figure out some way to make this job real easy. And I found two things, two things that really make this job incredibly easy. And I'm going to show you what those two things that I found out. And they both work. And the reason I know they work is because the flagpole's already in the ground. I thought maybe since I haven't shown you from the beginning how the steps work into putting in this flagpole, uh, and digging a hole in the ground. That's the two things, Big, digging the hole in the ground and submitting the flagpole in the ground. Those are the two things that I, I'm dealing with. So let me, go, let me go to the first thing and I'll show you what I did. And I, this is so damn, made it so easy. I, you won't, you're not gonna believe this. So this is called an auger bit. And um, let me show you what it looks like. What's amazing about this, uh, auger bit and I'll put a link down below so you can uh, find out where you get one of these uh, you can go to Home Depot they got them there there's several other places that have them you can order them online I'm, I'm, I'll give you a link to my to the Amazon one that I like and uh, but this works fine too you can see about this about the sizes it's not really 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 big it's about the size I would say the hole is about a little bit bigger than a golf ball and uh, with this, let me just run it out. I'll just show you how it works. See what this looks like. Uh, that's it right there. And uh, it'll drill a hole through this. And this is a zoysia grass, which is really tough to get through. It's all, figure it'll drill a hole right in there like no business. I'm not gonna drill a hole, a full hole right here now because I don't wanna tear up my lawn, but but uh, you can do this anywhere. And it was in the lawn that I had to drill the hole. And what I did was I drilled a hole here, here, here. I went around a circle like this. And then I did the final one, which was right, right in the middle. And by doing this, I was able to drill the hole about uh, 20, I would say 20, about two feet deep, uh, all completed and done, shaped and everything in about five to 10 minutes tops. Let me say that again, five to 10 minutes tops. This thing is a back saver. I mean, in fact, a lot of my, if I get below my, uh, my ground level, about two inches, three inches below the ground, uh, below the topsoil, I hit clay and it's a son of a biscuit to put, to get uh, through the clay. It's really, really, really difficult. So. I gotta tell you, this thing right here saved me a lot, a lot of work and um, obviously beat the crap out of your back too. So uh, all I had to do was once I got those ho got these holes drilled down here is uh, I got, you know, like I say, I put five or six holes around here and then I drilled the center hole and it was very easy to pull everything out. Everything came out. Well, like I say, I, like I maybe took 10 minutes to drill a two foot hole what the heck i couldn't believe it <laughs> so anyway the second thing that i did i'm going to come out here and i'll show you the finished product but I'll, I'll show you the second thing that i did so the second thing that i did was i didn't mix the concrete and pour it what i did was i put the dry concrete in the hole and here's the hole right here. And I put the dry concrete in the hole. It took about two bags to fill the hole. It's The hole is about oh, 17 inches across, I would say, uh, excluding the pipe, but 17 inches, you know, from the left side to the right side of the pole, uh, to the hole. And um, I just put in two bags, 60 pound bags of uh, concrete regular concrete I think it cost me ten dollars with tax and everything 
I was out the store for 10 bucks. And by the way, that auger that I have that drilled the hole here for me, that drilled the hole here for me, uh, that auger was like $22, I think. So I'm, I'm about 30 bucks into this without excluding the pole, about 30 bucks to do the hole. So anyway, uh, I poured the dry concrete on there. Then I came down and I misted it. I looked at some YouTube people that did this on, they didn't do a uh, flagpole, but they did uh, some patio stuff. And they, and they uh, misted the hole twice. This is on an hourly shift. Once I put all the concrete in the hole, I misted it uh, with a light spray. In fact, I actually used a squirt bottle and misted the, the water on here. And I did it the first hour, then I did it again the second hour. Then the third hour, I sprayed it. Then the fourth hour, I sprayed it with a little heavier, not a mist, but a spray, like a shower, you know. And then yesterday afternoon, we got one heck of, we got about two and a half inches of rain, it rained in the afternoon. So I said, ah, oh, heck, this is like, you know, free, this is a free deal here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let, uh, I'm just gonna let this go. And I did, I let it go and uh, it worked great. It, uh, it's, it's solid as a rock right now. I mean, I can't even move this thing, but I'm gonna give it another uh, 24, I'm at 12, 24 hours. Make sure it's really, really, really dried and complete. So that's it. Two things, the auger bit, which is about 23 inches long, the auger bit and Put the dry concrete in here and just water it like i say let me go back again i missed it with a with a spray bottle i missed it twice and uh, once every hour and then the third time i gave it a good watering fourth time i gave it a good watering um yeah i don't know quart maybe quart and a half of water and then uh yesterday afternoon we got one heck of a rainstorm here i got about two and a half inches of rain so that really that really helped a lot so now she's uh, curing for one more day and then uh, i'll be ready to put a flag on this puppy heavy duty anodized aluminum from service first i love this a veteran-owned business. I love to support our veterans, and it gives me a great deal of pleasure buying this flagpole from them. But then I saw this up on the top. Designed in the USA. Good. Made in PRC. Where the heck is PRC? I never heard of that before. I did a Google search, and this is what I found. So, a decision you have to make. Yes, I love doing business with veteran-owned businesses. I really, really like doing that. But I don't like doing this. So, I hope you liked the video. I like my two easy-peasy things. It makes it really, really simple to put this flagpole in. And as you can see, it's still doing great here 24 hours later. And uh, I've got this puppy all ready to go. I just pushed up my first section here, and you can see the first section goes up there. It's right into the sun, but there you go. And this thing is solid as a rock. It's not going anywhere. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, so putting the cement in there without water uh, works. And then adding the water later, it's... Uh, Easy peasy. <laughs> so here's, this is where the first connection comes out. And uh, this is a part of the section that you hook uh, your flags to. And I think there's one, yeah, there's one section already up there. So this would go up like this and it would hook up, you know, depending on how, how let me get over this way so you can see without squinting. Um, so there's the first hook up there, and this would be the second one. And these are free swinging, so I like that. 
because it makes it uh, easy and the, the flag's not going to get, get all tangled up. Very well made. I like the idea of it being this way. And uh, I think both things, the digging in the hole and... I'm, I can't get over the digging in the hole was so easy. But anyway, that's it. Um, leave a comment down below. Love to hear your comments. Like and subscribe, especially if you like Corvette content, because most of my stuff is Corvettes, but this one, I made a special uh, um, decision on this one. I, th I think it's interesting. I found two little secrets to make this a real, real easy job. It's not a, the only thing I want to make sure that you do is to make sure the dig safe people, the dig safe people, come out and lay out your uh, areas where you might have gas lines or uh, electric lines, whatever. So you don't go drilling into a line. That's the only thing you don't want to do. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this. And uh, thanks again for watching. And we'll see you again on the next video.